prison cell after going to dungeon again, taking a ride on Bismarck's back, beating up all the bad guys, taking care of the, the Ondo. We finally got back here. But... Yeah, the shoulder's down and we're being blocked by Excellent. a lot of us. I had intended to speak with you alone. Yeah, after you cut it, uh, it's still down, right? None of my doing, lest you misunderstand. The link between our body and soul wafers. So says you. I know not what you hoped to find here, but it will avail you naught to learn of our past. Or so you think. Meanwhile, more Echo. And more CRT. Reviewing the records yet again? Really? You worry too much, Elidibus. This dedication to your duty verges on obsession. To think some thought you ill suited for the world. How wrong they were. But come, turn your gaze outside the window, my friend. The rains have ceased and we've been graced with another beautiful day. Which I guess in your case is um just the sky with nothing but darkness, right? Yeah, and we're like, wait! It fades. Fades away into oblivion. Does the world no longer have need of me? No. I am Elidipus, and I must... I will fulfill my duty. Yeah, he's that determined. Hey, that's the original Warrior Some of Light Armor. Though you may be, you fought for the world's salvation. For hope. Hope. And then... <sighs> yeah, Polly reaches in. It swells within me. Empowers me. Now. Now I may carry out my mission. And what, did you slit his throat? Why do I yearn for this? Why do I struggle so? Yeah, we're still trying to figure that out. So as we come around... Thankfully I haven't been attacked. But as for Shola, where did she go? I shall take her into my safekeeping. If you want her back, you will do as I ask. Blackmail. I was Show it. me your strength. I would take your measure. Well, it's not as if you don't already know what I'm capable of. But yeah, if I have to humor you to get a shoulder back, so be it. I have a suitable arena. You need but ride the flow of ether. So yeah, we know what we gotta do. And since you said arena, that means combat is acquired. So we are dressed for battle. Let's do it. So we ended up returning to Amarats. Yeah, we're being in that, back in that one office where we had to go through all of the procedures. Yeah, let's have a look around. Ah, there you are. You're familiar with this place, I believe? This remembered Amarats? Yeah, the one that Emmett Silk crafted. Yeah, how did you know about that? Proceed to the capital. I shall return your comrade to you there. Yeah, 
Enough of this, or I tire of your games. Yeah. Yeah, I tire of your games, sir. Is this all you're good at? You speak as if you were disappointed in me. Why? I am your enemy and you mine. Our goals were in conflict and we are fated to clash. Or had you hoped that feigned sympathy and false understanding would cast your crimes in a less reprehensible light, that I would come to look upon you as a friend? You who slaughter my people, who would tear down everything we have built. Yeah, why were you turning away from it? You do not deny it then. Very well. Let us change the cost of this trial. You will know what you have stolen from us. Yeah, so he decides to take it on the people here. Shoot some flashy beams at them. But what he turned them into? Yeah, we know who these people are. The proprietors of Eorzea's hub cities. Like, you jerk! What are you doing bringing them into this? But I do not imagine I would crave remorse, only justice. Yeah, if he's willing to start transforming people to look like people we know from Eorzea. Yeah, believe me when I say this is the tip of the iceberg. As the theme of the Rising is played throughout. Yeah, speaking of which, the Rising is three weeks away. Actually, it might even be two, considering that Moonfire Fair starts tomorrow, officially. So yeah, we go out to where Elidibus is standing. Let us begin, he says. Rest assured there are no tricks. You need but defeat the enemies before you. First, something easy. Those whom a budding hero might encounter at the beginning of his tale. And I believe I have the perfect subjects. Yeah. Trust me when I say he doesn't stop at the proprietors. He brings in people who look like the Scions. And yes, we do have to fight them all and beat them. Oh, Ida. If you just take off your mask, girl. Oh, he's behind me. All too easy, I see. But at least now you understand the rules. Thus, we will make our way to the capital. Are you trying to nerve me, or that was poor taste even for you? That appearances should unsettle you so. I was under the impression you simply destroyed all who barred your way. <laughs> Sounds like you're talking about yourself, dude. Sparing nary a thought to the possibility that your foe could be someone's beloved. But come, we shouldn't dwell on the beginning when so much of your story awaits. So yeah, if you haven't figured it out yet, he basically makes us relive the entire experience of Final Fantasy XIV. Every tale requires villains. Defeat them and claim your place as a hero. Including members of the Guardian Empire. Yeah, come on over, guys. Well done, Chapin of Eorzea. Well done. Onward then, over the bloodied bodies of the fallen. Yeah, speak of fallen bo bodies of fallen, you tasted many sweet triumphs, sis, but so too did you taste bitter tragedy. Who could forget the crystal braves, that idealistic, pathetic, dream-born from a malformed creature? 
yeah, namely Ilbaird and his friends to betray us all, to embolden Ilbaird to cause mass death at Bellstar's wall, becoming one of the greatest meme bosses in Final Fantasy history. You such he's yet again. You always did go strong with each battle. Yeah, and for those of you wondering, this is the Admiral on the Yellow Seeds here overlooking an unconscious Sultana, who is, of course, dr who drank the poison at the end of Arom Reborn. Yeah, basically, this entire journey is to guilt you for having helped all the people that you did. It seems that it will take more than those monsters to leave an impression upon you. Or mayhap you simply fail to understand my meaning. Not that it matters. No, I have dealt with countless heroes and it always ends the same way. No amount of reasoning will bridge our differences, will result in happiness for all. Whatever your reasons may be, I cannot be bound by them. I can but put faith in my own beliefs and fight for them with all my being. Can't say you're wrong. We can always strive for understanding for compromise, or it seems there's nothing for it but for us to fight. But no, how very naive. If you're willing to compromise on your beliefs, you'll admit they are. You will all but admit that they are flawed. And I assure you, I have no intention of compromising on mine. Come what may, I will fulfill my mission as a libus. But enough talk. It is not your sessions that I wish to know, but your strength. And so, yeah, look who it is, it's Horshafon! Falsely accused of regicide, you fled for the snow fields of Cathis. Along with Count Edmont, and there's Alphanod and Tataru over on this side. Had you and the Sons met your demise that day in the Sultanate, La Prea may have been spared his. Yet not only did you stubbornly live, you hurled yourself into the thick of the Dragon Song War. Yeah, 1,004 years of it. Slipped along by the tide of events you pursued and slew those who sought to stop the unending conflict just as you were bid. This includes fighting the Heaven's War Knights themselves. And staying out of there. Crazy moves. Yeah. Enhance with the holy power of Halone. Then once the knights are down, then Thornton himself can be picked on. But we're gonna have to wait until he utilizes his dragon skates so that I'm not stunned. I trust you're beginning to limbo up to keep up the fine form. So, continuing on further. Yeah, who else are they sending our way? Around people's, around heroes people are going to flock. People who manner, harbor all manner of motives, each baser than the last. Including General Alden, who of course we did not see, as well as Sir Emmerich and Lucia. Yes, the, the reunion of the Grand Melee. I'm gonna have to stay out of your way cumulatively. Just so I'm not getting wasted. No more than they deserve. In the end, their hand of friendship was tainted with personal desire. Yeah. Show me what we're going to next. <laughs> How about Race Falger breaking a sail's heart and giving her her zero moment of WHAT AM I FIGHTING FOR?! Which could also summarize us quite nicely, doesn't it? You co know what comes next. You put an end to the Dragon Song War. And there's only one way we did that. By defeating a possessed Astenia. There's no time saving your combat this time. All you can do is cut off the serpent's head. And just like in the final steps of faith, this Need Hog has some fancy moves. 
I gotta stay away from them all. The Circle AoE, the Gears Kogo lines. Just gotta keep going until he stops doing them. And now we can go all out. Yeah, leave my friend alone. And as simple as that, a thousand year war was brought to its conclusion. But every end marks a new beginning and for heroes such as you there's only ever conflicts. And so, off we go again, to be guilted further. Come around the corner, talk to him again. How are you enjoying the walk down memory lane? I dare say there will have been a few individuals for whom you harbor deep feelings, whose passing caused you keenest grief. That is what our people are to us, an irreplaceable existence that can ill be lost. I must, I will, save them, for they are my, my. Yeah, a letter is here appears distracted. Draw your weapon away from him to continue. Well, we can fight you now if you want. I think not, hero. Not yet. You must content yourself with the monster, with the company of monsters a while longer. So what do you have in mind next? Emperor Solus had kindled an insatiable flame. Golmog, what is its name, and it raged across the land, consuming all in its path. Including various soldiers from, from the um, Resistance, as well as sympathizers with the Guardians. Yeah, there's the members of the Resistance over there, including Lisa Monago, and Fordola representing the Guardian Empire. Again, you fought so strong we can no longer control you. Yours is an unnatural beastly strength, and we shall lay it bare. In order to gain a foothold in the liberation effort, you journey to far eastern plains. Where we had to deal with, among other things, the crazy green Grinwatt, as well as the members of the Azim Steppe and its nomadic tribes. Where we ended up earning the title of Khan. The strong or John to the strong, thus you gather new allies to your banner. And they're over on this side. Yeah, while well, ardent souls gather, so too do fires burn. In this way, did you consign those around you to the flames, including Hien and Yugiri. Burn them like the ephemeral morning dew they are, he says. He thinks so little of them. Because he thinks that we think so little of them. Yes, if we can't do away with that. Then we gotta give you Giri what for. You did not hesitate, or perhaps could not. No matter, let us turn our attention to the finale. Here we shall have a test against fellow beasts. It is only fitting, would you not agree? Yeah, he happens to be referring to Xenos. When I fought him in this flesh, twas I who triumphed. Will you turn the tables this time? Yeah, we gotta go through the enrage we had to deal with with Xenos in Alamigo. But at this time, it's all us. We're the only ones who can stop the trio of swords from unleashing their full power. Yeah, can't go directly to the third sword, we gotta take the scenic route. Into the air, or into the air, I said. Sorry, controller stepped. And then he unleashes all he's got, says Xenos. Yes, is that all? And then back to Elidibus. My creation appears to have lost its form. It's no easy to think to see through the eyes of a beast such as him. 
In any event, there can only be so much to be learned by taking a measure this way. Let us try something different. Like what? We continue this within. Well, I've already seen it earlier today before I started playing there, Pygmy Puff, but welcome to the stream and welcome to the channel. Glad to have you with us here tonight. Yeah, I played this all this morning before I went to work today, so I, kn I know what we're getting ourselves into. These guys, however, not so much. Yeah, my viewers, not so much. An impressive show of strength. But surely, no more than a full taste of that which Emmett Self's Conqueror is capable. Such might requires a fair measure to compare like with like. Yes. So what are you gonna do now? I shall just have to test you myself. Took you long enough. Yeah, he's obviously going to fight as Ardbert. Come on, Shinji. Show me what you can do. Yeah, he even gets the fancy title as well. Yeah. Are you done with toying around with me? Yeah, it's finally time for us to duel, you and I. Yeah, time for what we've been waiting for ever since he took us here. So we got 15 minutes to beat him. Go! I may not be the real law, but, but you do well not to underestimate me. Uh, of course not. Yeah, we have to teach you a lesson, sir. Fight me like you mean to take my head. Well, you didn't leave us a choice, man! You made us do this! Yeah, slowly but surely we'll chip away at his health even when he does fancy moves like this. I don't know if I got all the way or not, I did. Oh, come on. Come on there, Shinji. No hesitation, please. He senses our murderous intent. Yeah, no doubt fueled by you. Yeah, he gives us he gives it his all at us. And now we're going for a little spin move. Yeah, I gotta make sure, careful I don't get too close. Now he's gonna start setting fireworks in the floor. Now he thinks he's Ifrit. Oh jeez. I do not have many safe spaces. He, he kind of cut me off there. But that's why I have second wind. To save me in situations such as that. Oh, come back here, you. Yeah, right into your face. Yeah, keep on bringing it ugly. And he's gonna do some fancy shockwave moves. Yeah, we would do our best to not only stay away from them, but also the AoE that can randomly spawn. Cause yeah, he can knock you into those, even if you're trying to get away from them. A little combination attack. Got 41k on the store dive, but not bad. Take that. Oh, don't worry, we don't plan to hold back there, Ardbert. AKA La Habrea. He 
You're just gonna keep swinging? Well, it's not just limited to that anymore. And I can see he's throwing some more curveballs. Then runs back to the middle. Yeah, there's a little something for you to enjoy. And then, of course, it wouldn't be right if he didn't include the middle. One, two, three. Then let's use our buffs that we got and go all out. He's gonna try and use this move again. And as he gets it off, we've weakened him enough that he's down. That's something I personally haven't noticed myself there, Pygmy. I'm just I just play the game. Yeah, that that's a that's definitely a finer detail that I would not have picked up on. So now after I beat you. You have grown stronger since last we fought. Yeah, ten levels. Yeah, I'm at level 80 now. In the first, no doubt. Have you finished? Oh, hey there, Ishtola. Good to see you on your feet. My apologies. I freed myself as soon as I awoke, but rather too late, I see. I wasn't even aware you were even bound. Hopefully, we didn't distract ourselves from him disappearing. Now, if you have ceased trading blows, I would trade words with you. Yeah, that I was have a theory, dude. you see. One concerning that which you seek to accomplish. It stems from who, or rather what, you truly are. A primal. Another one? How many humans are also doubling as primals? The ancients created Zodiac to deliver the star from destruction. If the magic that brought him forth is the precursor of what we know as summoning, then Zodiac would have been instilled with a presiding desire. I found it among the records at Anida, and it came as no surprise. Were I faced with the world's destruction, I too would wish for the same. Salvation. But to the extent that he would do it? I know that you sacrificed yourself to become Zodiac's heart. Oh, really? How you came to be separated from him is less clear. But if you are a fragment of his being, it stands to reason a desire for the world's salvation would drive you. And thus did you seek to inspire the masses to rise up as warriors of light, going so far as to use Ardbert as a symbol of hope. Whatever it took, right? Yeah, Alethan, man. Correct on all counts. Such is my nature, and such are my methods. I have aided heroes. I have made them. I have even become them. Oh, have you now? This served not only to strengthen me, but also to facilitate the work of my brothers. Such as Emmet Selk, with his penchant for nation building. With his penchant, huh? Then you will be all too familiar with the fickleness of mankind. We change, we forget, and what little we do remember becomes twisted and fragmented over time. For which reason, you deem us unfit to carry on your legacy. But are you, yourself, free of these foibles? As the last witness of the final days, do you remember everything that was lost? Or even the things you cared about? 
to the point. Yeah. What are you getting, Amistola? The final is shaped by the hope that fuels it. Even should this hope be something as simple as the world's salvation, it is the collective desire of innumerable disparate souls crying out for deliverance. Having drawn your strength from such a cacophony of voices, can you truly be sure you still speak with your own? He'll probably say he can. <laughs> yeah, you're probably just gonna shrug it off, aren't you? Your question is irrelevant. As I thought. Hey, Nate, hey, welcome to the stream. No matter how much I should change, no matter how much I should forget, I shall ever remember my duty. At times, I stand with my brethren. At times, I stand against them. All that I might steer mankind and the very star upon their true course. For Elidibus is my name and my mission, guiding my every deed. Yeah, which obviously means killing everything. But enough talk. You have shown me sufficient proof of your might. Well, that's already happened multiple times. As I am now, I would struggle to defeat you. Yet I have still to play all of my cards. I'm sure you got more tricks up in store for us. If I could offer you some semblance of sport, your lessers would pose no threat to me. Would you not agree, warrior of darkness? And away he goes. Until we meet again. So yeah, we'll have to wait for everyone to file in before we can speak with the Stola. Yeah. Day one blues. There she is. It has been an eventful morning, if it is indeed morning. I have no idea how long I was unconscious. Regardless, I am gratified to see that my efforts at Anido have borne fruit. We have confirmed the nature of our foe and his plot. Now then, what news from the surface? Uh, well, we got a lot to tell you. I see. Then let us make for Yulmore at once. We have much to share with our comrades. And Libus is parting threat, not least of all. Uh, but forgive me, it would seem my belongings did not accompany me here. I will need to retrieve them from Anida. With luck, the ethereal stream you traverse still lingers. I won't be long. And so with that, this ordeal is finished. And a little bit of attempt to guilt the crap out of us is done. So we'll take our 2,970 gil for compensation. And away goes Ashtola. So as we chill out in the middle of the hall... What is it? We see something in the distance. Yeah, we see something that's glowing in red. Whatever could it be?